Sudanese Arabic is the variety of Arabic spoken throughout Sudan. Some of the tribes in Sudan still have similar accents to the ones in Saudi Arabia. History in 1888, the Journal of the Royal Anthropological Institute of Great Britain claimed that the Arabic spoken in Sudan was a pure but archaic Arabic. The pronunciation of certain letters was like Hijazi, and not Egyptian, such as G being the pronunciation for QAF and J being the pronunciation for Jim. Unique phonological characteristics Sudanese Arabic is distinct from Egyptian Arabic and does not share some of the characteristic properties of that dialect despite the overall similarity of the two dialects. Sudanese Arabic is more closely related to Hehazi Arabic. The Arabic letter maintains an archaic pronunciation in Sudanese. Sudanese Arabic also maintains an archaic rendering of QAF as, while Egyptian renders it as. The uvula rendering of QAF has been lost in nearly every other Arabic dialect and is also considered a relic. Also peculiar to Sudanese is the quality of the Arabic vowel transliterated as U, U. This is usually transliterated as O in materials on Sudanese, because the sound ranges from tilde O rather than the typical tilde U. In addition to differences in pronunciation, Sudanese Arabic also uses different words when compared to Egyptian Arabic. For example, the interrogative pronoun what in Sudan is shinu rather than a as in Egyptian Arabic. Influence of Nubian languages In northern and central parts of Sudan, Sudanese colloquial Arabic has been influenced by the Nubian language which in ancient times was the dominant language in southern Egypt and northern Sudan. Many of the agricultural and farming terms in Sudanese Arabic were adopted from Nubian. Sudanese Arabic angeb less than nobin, angareye, wooden bed. Sudanese Arabic kadesa less than nobin, kadiza, cat, versus standard Arabic kitana, regional variation. Because of the varying influence of local languages in different parts of Sudan, there is considerable regional variation in Arabic spoken throughout the country. Sudanese Arabic typically refers to Arabic spoken mostly in northern parts of Sudan. The other most commonly mentioned derivative of Sudanese Arabic is Juba Arabic, a pidgin of Arabic spoken in South Sudan, which is much more heavily influenced by other local languages. Greetings in Sudanese Arabic. In northern Sudan, greetings are typically extended and involve multiple questions about the other person's health, their family etc. When greeting someone you know and formally, it is common to begin with the word O, followed by the person's first name, O, Kalafala or O, Kefya Kalafala. Formal greetings often begin with the universal Assalamu Alaikum and the reply, Wa Alaikum Assalam, an exchange common to Muslims everywhere. However, other greetings typical to Sudan include Izayak or Izayak, a rather informal way to say, How are you? is intershaded, intishadida, are you well? The response to which is usually Alhamdulillah, praise God, assuming you are indeed feeling well. Ma battle, not bad, or noznos, half half, if feeling only okay, or taban show I are, a little tired, if not so well. Of course, there can be lots more responses, but these are used in everyday language. Other everyday greetings include Kwaiish, Alhamdulillah, good, thanks to Allah, Kef al USRA. How is the family? Or KEF al Avlad? How are the children? For friends, the question KEF can also be formed using the person's first name, prefixed by YA. For example, KEF YA Yosef. How are you, Joseph? Another standard response in addition to Alhamdulillah is Allah Ibarak Fik God's blessing upon you. Additional greetings are appropriate for particular times and are standard in most varieties of Arabic, such as Sabah al Kair, Sabah and Nur. Sudanese that know each other well will often use many of these greetings together, sometimes repeating themselves. It is also common to shake hands on first meeting sometimes simultaneously slapping or tapping each other on the left shoulder before the handshake. Handshakes in Sudan can often last as long as greetings.
assenting, saying yes. The Sudanese Arabic word for yes depends on the tribe. I is widely used, similar to the Scottish I, although AYWA or NAAM are also sometimes used.